The Lakers are poised to make moves this offseason, and one of the most talked about potential moves involves acquiring Lori Markkinen from the Utah Jazz. At just 26 years old, Markkinen offers the kind of versatility that could significantly enhance the Lakers' roster. Standing at 7 feet tall and shooting 40% from three-point range, he can play multiple positions, whether it's the three, four, or even the five. This level of flexibility is exactly what the Lakers need to bolster their chances of a deep playoff run. Markkanen's ability to perform effectively without needing the ball in his hands is a major advantage. Unlike other potential acquisitions like Trey Young or Donovan Mitchell, who are ball dominant, Markkanen's off-ball movement and shooting efficiency make him a perfect fit alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. His presence would force defenses to stretch the floor, creating more space for the Lakers' primary playmakers to operate. But before we talk about this incredible trading possibility, it's worth noting that 89.4% of you watching right now aren't subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It helps out a ton and is very much appreciated. Now, let's get into it. Lori Markkinen's potential fit with the Lakers is something that can't be overlooked. His ability to play multiple positions, ranging from small forward to center, offers the kind of versatility that can significantly enhance the Lakers' lineup. One of the standout aspects of Mark Cannon's game is his shooting efficiency. Last season, he shot 40% from three-point range on high volume, which is exactly the kind of floor spacing the Lakers need. Mark Cannon doesn't just bring shooting to the table. His height and agility allow him to be a factor on both ends of the court. Defensively, his size can help protect the rim and secure rebounds, while offensively, he provides a constant threat that defenses have to account for. This off-ball presence is crucial for a team that already has primary ball handlers like LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Another major advantage of acquiring Mark Cannon is his contract situation. He's making $18 million next year, and it's an expiring contract. From a financial standpoint, this is beneficial because it provides flexibility for the Lakers in the long term the Lakers could potentially acquire him without giving up too many valuable assets. What makes Mark Hennon particularly appealing is that he doesn't need the ball in his hands to be effective. This is a significant advantage over other potential acquisitions like Trey Young or Donovan Mitchell, who are accustomed to being the primary ball handlers on their teams. With Mark Hennon, the Lakers can maintain their current offensive dynamics while adding a potent scorer who can give them 20 to 25 points on any given night. Markkanen's presence would allow the Lakers to experiment with various lineups. Imagine a scenario where Anthony Davis is out. The Lakers could slide Markkanen to the 4 or 5, maintaining a strong offensive and defensive front. This versatility could be invaluable during the grueling NBA season, where injuries and strategic adjustments are commonplace. He could be a seamless fit for the Lakers, offering both immediate impact and long-term benefits. His ability to stretch the floor, coupled with his defensive capabilities, makes him an ideal candidate for the Lakers to consider this offseason. Now, let's compare him with other stars the Lakers are eyeing. When comparing Laurie to other potential acquisitions like Young and Mitchell, it's important to consider the specific needs and dynamics of the Lakers roster. Trey Young is undoubtedly one of the most electrifying young guards in the league. His ability to create shots for himself and his teammates is exceptional. However, there are concerns about his fit with the Lakers. Trey Young is highly ball dominant, which could pose a challenge in integrating him alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Both LeBron and AD are at their best when they have the ball in their hands, orchestrating the offense. Adding another player who needs significant touches could disrupt the team's chemistry and offensive flow. Additionally, Young's defensive liabilities are a concern. The Lakers have emphasized defense as a cornerstone of their strategy, and Young's presence might weaken their defensive setup. On the other hand, Donovan Mitchell offers a blend of scoring and playmaking that is very appealing. Mitchell has proven himself to be a clutch performer, capable of taking over games when needed. His fit with the Lakers seems more seamless compared to Young, because Mitchell can play off the ball more effectively. However, like Young, Mitchell is accustomed to being a primary ball handler which could create redundancy in the Lakers' offense. Moreover, the cost of acquiring these stars is significantly higher. Both Young and Mitchell would demand substantial assets in return, possibly gutting the Lakers' depth. 
The Lakers have worked hard to build a roster with a good mix of star power and supporting players. Sacrificing this balance for a single star player could be risky. Lori Markkinen, in contrast, fits more naturally into the Lakers' existing structure. His ability to contribute without needing the ball extensively makes him a low-maintenance, high-impact player. Markkinen's versatility also provides the Lakers with more lineup options, enhancing their strategic flexibility. While Young and Mitchell bring star power and excitement, Markkinen offers a more balanced and practical solution to the Lakers' needs. Having compared these potential stars, let's shift our focus to the strategic approach the Lakers should take this offseason to make the most of their opportunities. As we dive deeper into the Lakers' offseason strategy, it's clear that making smart, calculated moves will be crucial. The Lakers need to balance immediate improvements with long-term flexibility to ensure they can compete at the highest level for years to come. This strategic approach starts with retaining key players while also exploring potential trades and free agency acquisitions. First and foremost, the Lakers should focus on retaining players who have shown significant growth and potential, such as Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura. Both players have demonstrated their value on the court, providing versatile skill sets that complement the Lakers' star players. Keeping these young talents ensures continuity and adds depth to the roster, which is essential for a deep playoff run. In addition to retaining key players, the Lakers should also look to acquire veterans who can provide leadership and stability. Players like Chris Paul or a returning Dwight Howard bring invaluable experience and can mentor the younger players. Their presence in the locker room and on the court can help maintain team morale and focus throughout the grueling NBA season. Another critical aspect of the Lakers' offseason strategy is improving their three-point shooting. The modern NBA heavily relies on spacing and perimeter shooting, and this is an area where the Lakers have struggled at times. Targeting sharpshooters who can consistently knock down threes will open up the floor for LeBron James and Anthony Davis to operate more freely. This not only improves offensive efficiency, but also makes the team more dynamic and difficult to defend. Defensive versatility should also be a priority. The Lakers need players who can guard multiple positions and excel in switching defenses. Acquiring versatile defenders will help the Lakers match up better against the top teams in the league, especially during the playoffs. This flexibility is crucial for countering the various offensive threats they'll face. By maintaining a strategic and disciplined approach, the Lakers can build a roster that is both competitive and sustainable. Looking ahead, the Lakers must also focus on long-term planning, particularly for the post-LeBron era. LeBron James has been a transformative figure for the Lakers, but it's crucial to prepare for the future and ensure the team remains competitive even after he retires or leaves. Maintaining financial flexibility is another critical component. The Lakers need to be cautious about long-term contracts that could hamper their ability to make moves in the future. By keeping their salary cap situation in check, the Lakers can stay agile and ready to capitalize on opportunities to acquire star players or valuable role players who can fill specific needs. In essence, the Lakers' long-term planning must balance immediate success with future potential. By focusing on developing young players, maintaining financial flexibility, and creating a winning culture, the Lakers can ensure they remain a powerhouse in the NBA for years to come. The potential moves and decisions are endless, but with careful planning and execution, the Lakers can continue to be a dominant force in the NBA. Let's keep the conversation going. What do you think are the most critical moves the Lakers should make this offseason? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more in-depth Lakers content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.